All right, all right, all right. Okay. Here we go. Bilbo Baggins of the Nine Fingers. All right. Nine fingers. Run, two, three. Yay. He's exciting. Okay. <laughs> oh, what's with his face? Is it like it's supposed to be snow? Or first? Uh, maybe. Oh no. Is that shy burning? Yeah, that's a scaring. Hey, is that's, it, hey, is that's it Black bad. Riders? They had real horses. Uh -oh. He's clear as a storyteller. Since we had a clip of him. It's George R. R. Martin. The keepers. <laughs> okay. Keepers. Oh yeah, yeah, okay. So it's not called the Lord of the Rings, it's called the Keepers. The whole show is called the Keepers. Maybe it's like uh Turkish Star Wars. Yeah, maybe. I haven't seen that. What? Hey, I count yourself lucky. Is the intro still going? I just showed the clip of that dude there in the middle. Okay. This looks like home video. Oh, he's holding the ring. Okay. Uh, yeah, I me he was too. Begging. Why is he sitting in the snow? Wow, a castle. Where the shadows lie. That was the intro. That's supposed to get us into this. <laughs> What a way to make a, an impression. This guy looks like a nerd. Looks like a lot of guys that I know. So you yes. came to play Dungeons and Dragons. No, I think it's just this well, they tried. good enough. They could be a bit fatter, but... But that was just pretty good. Like, if it's like party situation. Yeah. I got the eating down. Well, you do what you can. Well, they still clearly like put some effort in here. Like, that's better than I would have. I wouldn't have had patience you know, to do any of these. What is this dance this lady's doing? What's going on there? This must be Bilbo. Yeah. I thought they were like boots. Look at their legs. Oh, that's Gandalf. He could have had the longer beard, but. Oh, stop it. Oh. Fireworks from under his robe. Oh my god. Or oh, he just took... flashed yeah, them okay. and they got to like this is magic. <laughs> blown away by it. Uh, they gotta break this away. <laughs> I think it's fun. It's totally okay. It's still quite up to this the law, you know. They haven't done anything crazy here except show that one dude's face all the time. Yeah. He looks kind of wicked. <laughs> I like their Gandalf. Yeah. They got the age right, right? Yeah, he leaves when he's 50. I want to see mountains again. I don't know, something about this candle makes it seem like he's like blackmailing him or threatening him, really. What the hell? 
think he's like a psychiatrist. <laughs> I don't know what what happened there. He just spritz some. But this kind of seems kind of sle sleazy. I don't I don't know what it is. Just oh, what's that? It might have something to do with the porno style. Lighting. Or is it the eye of sour? Maybe. By a miser. <laughs> Scraped over bread like a miser. Okay. I like that. Oh, now they're back at the party. Did they have the same birthday? I don't think so. Oh, really? Yeah. But this for Frodo is like really hyper. Yeah, they have the same birthday. Yeah. That's one of the reasons he's, Frodo's his favorite. Oh, he's like showing, he's showing everywhere. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> okay, that ring. Oh, that's him being invisible. Oh no. No, is Well, it... I mean that. No, it's, it's just a bad trick. That's about what I Why was that? Why was the why was the effect that's, relevant? That's really bad. <laughs> Chroma key. That's what that is. This is the first effect we've seen. Well, no wait, we saw the fire. First. Yeah. What secrets did the Soviet Union have? I suppose. This is such a strange thing for them to. I guess I guess Lord of the Rings is universal. This must be all the guys to get there. <laughs> Gandalf's still stalking everyone. Oh. It's, got kind of a it's like bean. you can see like he's real here from under the wig. It's really weird. Yeah. <laughs> What's this? I have no idea. Taken from the YouTube video for New Year's Day. What are those? Are those orcs? What's going on? I have no idea. Maybe that just was like drama in the middle of all this. Am I too young to see well, that this? must be the eye of Sauron peeking from under the hood. <laughs> be careful with that knife. I, I don't trust him with a knife. Rider. That has to be a dark rider. Uh, oh, that's the black tower, is it? At least he's cutting away from him. Is it a tower if it's shorter than trees? Oh my god, what does Gollum look like? They are yes, fishing. Children. They were fishing Maybe it's like murdered the other. Hobbit hair. It's supposed to be like that. Now, what's going on with that hair? Woo! <laughs> That's awesome! Okay. <laughs> no, no. No, I, I get what's going on there. You know what? This isn't yeah, too this bad is totally for like fine. having It's no not book. that bad. I mean, it's pretty bad, but... It, it looks like a bunch of kids would... made it, you know? Yeah, I love it right now. <laughs> They're so very Russian, though. I probably would have loved this as a kid. <laughs> oh, no! This has got to be made for kids. But they're not showing it, look. They're being very disgraced. Yeah, the acting is just... <laughs> no! No, uh, that's what you get. That well, this. Did he do that in the <laughs> in the murder it's one not too? Too early for murder. And also in the book, he was like. Oh, he went crazy immediately. Did he, did, did he put it in the middle finger? <laughs> uh, I'm sure 
I don't think that's. I'm sure I put it in the middle finger, and that's why it's so mean. No, that's on his ring finger. No, that's on his index, right? <laughs> okay. All right. Now. Yeah, just, he looks like a green knight, hey? I could forgive a lot of things, but this golem is garbage. <laughs> he looks like cabbage. He's having a great time with it, too. All right. None of that sobby and crying golem in this one. He's having a blast being so what? Yeah, this is and there's Gandalf. <laughs> I think so. <laughs> what did I say about this Gandalf? This Gandalf is like threatening and blackmailing everybody. Is that real fire? Oh my god. Hey, don't fool me, pal. I like <laughs> Or Darwin. I wonder if that's a real mountain. Or was the Mount Doom called Orodruin in the lore? Okay, so it might actually be a real mountain. Oh yeah, it, no. That's Orodruin is okay. the language, I think, right? <clears throat> Oh, so no, no, was this it's... like the episode one? Yeah, Orodruin is a name of it. And no, a it Mar, Which is the name of a shitty metal band. Yeah. Yeah, we're, we're halfway through the first part. Uh... He looks too much like Mr. B. Like, he can't get over it. I'm not expecting him to have a turkey drop on his head. Winter is coming. <laughs> no, that's not what I mean, Frodo. It's a metaphor. Was it a metaphor? Yeah. Because I think it's windy right now for them. I still have no idea who is who. Oh look, they have different colors. Oh, look at them. They're color coded. It is winter in the book. I don't think when they take off. It's like fall. It's like February when they leave Lothlorien. <laughs> You know, someone needs to do a, uh, you know how people do side-to-side -side comparisons of the Ralph Bakshi movie and the Peter Jackson movie? They're movie. Cool. like, <laughs> I, I get them, I get them. And they have this great music in the background. You know, their black writers aren't horrible. I mean, they're horrible, but I mean, they're not. So, so they don't go to free, they go to like, my books covered. Are we going to see Tom Bombadil here? Yeah, they That'd go to Mag Maggots first, don't they? They go to Buckland first. Before they go to the Old Forest. See, if this one has Tom Bombadil, it's the best one. Now I know who he reminds me of. He reminds me of... Jason Momoa. Oh, with the eyebrows? Yeah. And the beard. Okay, I see what you're talking about, yeah. So this is supposed to be Farmer Megat. He's way too handsome to be Farmer Megat, though. But I remember that the Farmer Megat, like, slammed the door to Anasco's face and said, like, a be off! Face kind of makes you feel bad for the Anasco. Yes, they are, but I don't. I still don't think any of them get any creep of anything. And their way to overact really makes me think they're just just for them just drugs all the time. It's all the mushrooms they eat. 
<laughs> this is just like drug speech right here, right here. I this that's... is absolutely the worst no, they just dialogue. Mm. What's going on? Oh, they're in the old forest. Yes. I see Tom Bombadil. One guy's holding up the branch. If I had read the book, oh, I would be so confused. <laughs> You're at the willow, aren't they? Yes, I do. Yeah, but yeah, but, but what, are, what are those dudes? This, this doesn't weird me out at all. Explain to me since you are the expert. Like plays to see stuff like this. Yeah, I think those are supposed to be branches. Yeah, it was. Yeah, and it was Mary. Like the tree, the tree like, kind of eats one of them. Yeah. <laughs> be careful with the fire, too. Your studio is in danger. There he is. Why is he so big? Maybe because Hobbies are supposed to be small. It's a bit too normal to be the mobile, but. Oh, it's alright. Oh my god. They even got the name of his house. With the Wendell. Ah, oh, there's Goldberry. She's a clear fantasy lady. Goldberry looks like she should host a children's show. They made Tom Bobadilla giant. I'm like, he's the most normal guy of the whole show so far, so I'm not sure. <laughs> they look like they're about to eat them afterwards. Oh, he's supposed to be a giant here. Okay. They're gonna do the Vero dance too. Woo! That's my favorite part. Looks so do. Bye bye. Oh, build a pony, build a pony. Bye, Goldberry. Didn't expect I'm to see you. I'm glad they include Bill in this. That is not a pony. Oh, oh, did did they get horses from Tom Bill? I can't really remember. I don't think so. What is this guy? I thought they I... got um, build a pony and breed. Okay. Didn't they? This must be a barrel, right? Yeah, it's probably barrel white. Okay. Oh, that was his part one. Oh my god. So there must be more than just three. There is part two. Okay. So I, I, I didn't think that was so bad, really. Like, like you said, oh. if you were a kid, you probably would be all into it. Uh, and uh, they, they did like oh, yeah, get, uh, get it very yeah. correct to the lore. Especially after. if it had anything to do with Lord of the Rings. Even do like, even fairly remote. small details. Except, of course, the visuals, like, they do what they can with those. But they they sort of uh, kept kept the story very yeah. very nicely and... Um, I, I, there were there were things that, yeah. that I have forgotten about the story, like the whole whole uh, whole meeting at the bar where he where the guy tells them that they met, that he met uh, met one of the black riders and then slammed the door in his face. Was that Farmer Maggot that did that though? Yeah, it was Farmer Maggot who did that. Farmer Maggot is a badass. It's it's strange that they put no, who all was that stuff in there, but there's no Fatty Bulger. He was the other Hobbit that left. With them. Oh, I, I, I have no recollection of him whatsoever. They at least, at least did put Tom Bombadil in this one. He was way too normal to be Tom Bombadil, but uh, it's nice that they included him.
I also think like Tom Bombadil is totally different in different languages. Like when That's what I think. Like in Finnish he doesn't seem like he do really do at all. He seems he has a the whole different rhythm to him. So I think uh, it it might be that in, in Russian language oh, yeah. he also has like a different rhythm to him and then he appears in a whole different way. Maybe he Oh really? It does he does he have does he have like a Santa Claus? No, not really, um, not really, not in Finnish of, at least. Um, in Finnish, I always thought he, Bob he, was kind of like Santa Claus. And I'm I'm pretty sure he also seems different in Russian oh, too, geez. and that might be that why why he appeared that way in this one, because like if if you if you base a guy on on uh, the room uh, on the songs he sings and rhymes he sings, yeah, then. Uh, Maybe maybe he just uh, it it just might make sense that he makes sense more than the others over there. Yeah, I I, I think um, I think the reason Tom Bobadil is the way he is because he's like a forest spirit, you know, like in the uh, British sense of a like the green the green man or. or I like don't really fake, know his British British you know? version as well. Sort of like he reminds me of uh, he reminds me of a uh, Finnish spirit. Uh, folklore, the Sampsapellervoinen, yeah. although although he probably isn't isn't the one. Well, that Sampsapellervoinen uh, was the one who saw all the trees at the beginning of forests, so he's sort of a fertile fertility person. I I don't remember, but I think Tom Bombadil speaks in. Uh, uh, triple triple alliteration which is like an old uh, old english mm -hmm. um way of rhyming it's the way they rhymed like in uh early medieval times so when they wrote poems they would have three three sounds that would sound the same in each line so it's in like beowulf and it's in the uh um, pearl poem and i think it's in sir gowan and the green knight it's definitely in sir gowan and the but I think Tom Bombadil is like that. I think Tom Bombadil is like like an old, old uh, uh, Brit spirit, you know. Well, he oh, of course uh, in Tolkien, Tolkien lore, like Tolkien lore, he's, he's like, like a, he's like a lot more than just a fairy. fairy. Like he's some kind of a ethereal, ethereal being. Yeah, nobody knows. I don't even think Tolkien really answered that question: who Tom Bombadil was. Well, I don't think he, I think he, I think he came up with Tom Bombadil and just never really. I don't think he really needs question. to be explained either. Like, I don't think he knew what Lord of the Rings is going to be about when he started writing it. Mm. <laughs> no, I, I like that. He has no explanation. You know, everything else seems to have an explanation. But Tom, ba that's why Tom Bombadil is so interesting. Because there's no, he, he, he's a very strange part of the story.